Oh, now then, my friends, good morning. Well, it's morning when I'm recording this anyway. You're probably watching it uh, in the evening. Anyway, today we are off to Toby Carvery for an all-you-can-eat breakfast. Now, I hear some of you say that we have been there before, but it was, uh, I think it was last year or the year before, just after lockdown, and it was a little bit, well, let's... It was rubbish, basically, to be fair. But then again, everything after the lockdown was rubbish because it was opening back up again. And lots of you said, Toby Carvery, all you can eat breakfast, is really good. So I'm gonna give it a go again. I'm gonna be fair, I'm gonna be fair, I'm gonna give them a second chance. We're gonna mark it out of 10. You guys are gonna mark it out of 10 as well on price, which is obviously gotta be good, hasn't it? I think it's £5.99 or something. We'll have a look online in a minute for all you can eat. That's right, so we're gonna head off there today uh, and we're gonna probably, I probably won't eat too much because, uh, you know, gotta watch this figure of mine. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Now, without further ado, my friends, let's go. Right, so Toby Carvery, £5.99 uh, weekday. The price increases, obviously, uh, at the weekend to cash in and rake back that profit that they've lost in the week for all the people that are there that is filling up their faces with that all-you-can-eat breakfast for £5.99. And remember, don't go for the cheap bits. Make sure you go for the expensive bits. Tell me in the comment section down below, what do you do? Do you get more sausages? What's going to cost them more money? We've got, you know the game. There are people that play the game as well and get the most out of what, they can, what they've got on offer. All the bacon, all the sausages leave the Yorkshire puddings, it's just a little bit of mix that is, isn't it? Aunt Bessie's mix, don't go for that. Although that's what they're known for. And Yorkshire pudding though on a breakfast, now that is controversial, my friends. I mean, come on, Yorkshire pudding on a breakfast, it just doesn't go, does it? I mean, I suppose it's no worse than a, than a hash brown, really, is it? I mean, a hash brown, Yorkshire pudding, I think I'd rather go for that brown myself. What do you reckon? Come on, onwards. Right, here we are, Toby Carvery in Sutton in Ashfield. All you can eat breakfast for 5 99 Right, let's turn this milk float off and uh, go and fill our boots. Come on. Toby Carvery, home with a roast. I'm still a bit dubious though about having a Yorkshire pudding on a breakfast. I mean, that just seems wrong. As I say, even more wrong than a hash brown. Is it? Comments down below. Now then, it's £5.99. However, there's always upgrades, isn't there? If they want a latte, then you've got to upgrade it, etc. We're gonna go I don't want to come out of here without spending any more than 5 99 and I want to get the most for my money. How would you do it? Pop it in the comment section down below. Come on.
Hi, can I come for the breakfast, please? Thank you. Right, my friends, so I've gone in for the breakfast. I've gone for the all-you-can-eat breakfast, uh, which in total is £5.99. However, you don't get a drink with that, uh, but you can have uh, tea or coffee for £2.49, and that's refillable of as many as you want. So the whole bill came to £8.48. They've got a substantial menu here as well. Take a closer look at the menu, uh, and then uh, we'll go and get the breakfast. <laughs> It's a napkin somewhere like that. Plates uh, are nuclear. Jesus. <laughs> Thank you very much. Right, my friends, so keep my voice down, don't want to shout the place out. So, uh, first things first that I have noticed is the uh, the Haribo egg. Uh, we've got the Haribo egg there, but the sausages look good, um, good quality sausage. Uh, got a Yorkshire there, which they're renowned for their Yorkshire puddings, whacking great Yorkshire pudding. Also, got in there as well, uh, hash brown there as well. Um, separate mushrooms, uh, which I like, some potatoes there as well, bacon tomatoes tin tomatoes which you like as well and beans as well um so before we go any further take a closer look my friends
Right, okay, so first things first, you know for me, it's all about the sausage. Easy, my friends, family channel. There's your sausage, a little bit of bend in it, got the grain shield bend in there. And uh, we'll go in for the sausage. Looks a good quality sausage, that does, I've got to say. Here we go. Oh, yeah, actually, that looks very good quality sausage there. Not your standard catering one. That's pretty nice, actually. Mm. That's a good sausage. The only thing that worries me is that Haribo egg. Literally does look like one of those that you get out of a Haribo bag. Um, we'll go in for the bacon here. Bacon again. Looks good quality bacon. I've said before about fat on the bacon, etc. And a lot of people seem to like it. Um, there we go. We're going for the bacon. Hmm. I have to say that sausage is very good. Bacon, slight saltiness to it. Cooked well. Hash brown. Hmm. A little rubbery, the hash brown, I have to say. There's the hash brown. A little um, dried up and rubbery, that, but more gooey ground. I think that's been under the light for a while. Beans, good consistency to them. Beans are nice. I wouldn't like to nail down on what uh, brand they are. Going to go in for these um, potatoes here. Mmm. They are very nice. Got the separate mushrooms, not the pretentious mushroom there. Look at that. Tasty mushrooms. I'm going to go in for it. I think the Yorkshire pudding might be a little bit. There we go. Could do with a little bit of moisture to the Yorkshire pudding there. There we go. There you go. Mmm. Nice and crunchy. Big Yorkie. But that sausage, very good. I think what we'll do, we'll eat it, then um, come back to you and then mark it out of ten. I'm gonna fill my boots. You let me know what you think in that comment section down below. Mmm. Good sausage. Right, my friends. Um, I'm not. I'm going to have to say I'll. I'll, I'll catch it with the outside. Um, I'm not going to be able to eat the hash browns um, or a few other things on the plate. I'm going to finish the sausages off and the beans. Uh, drink my tea and then have my toast, which is lurpak butter as well. Um, and then I'll see you guys outside. But I'm going to have to uh, leave the hash browns, as I say, because they're very dried up. Um, and the Yorkshire puns is a little bit hard as well. And the egg is a little bit like Haribo, so I can't tackle the egg, unfortunately. But I'll finish the sausages, the bacon and the beans, and I'll see you guys outside in a minute. Right, my friends. In fact, let's put you over there. Okay, I've got to say, by the way, before I start on the breakfast, uh, if you're watching abroad, I'm actually in England and this morning it said it was going to be sunny and the Met Office said that we've had the hottest summer ever, apparently, allegedly, and I've got to say this has been the 
naffest summer that I've ever known in England. It's been the coldest. It's absolutely freezing and wet. I don't know where, if you, where in the UK are you? Is, has your summer been the same? But in the Midlands and in Leeds, it's been terrible. Anyway, down to the breakfast. That was terrible too. Um, actually, um, the sausages were okay, to be fair. First of all, when I went in, the plates were absolutely nuclear. Again, you couldn't pick them up. I'm surprised I didn't get third degree burns from the plates. I had to use a napkin, a paper napkin, to carry the plate because it was so hot. Um, and then when I got the breakfast, let's get down to the breakfast anyway. The sausages uh, were very nice uh, and the bacon was acceptable. The hash browns were dried up, obviously been under the lamp for too long. Uh, they were inedible, I'd say, the hash browns. Uh, very, very dry. Um, the uh, It was potato, cheese and bacon hash, I think it was, or something. Um, that was moderately okay. Um, the beans, the beans were acceptable again, uh, and the tin tomatoes were okay. The the Yorkshire pudding. I mean, it, they're renowned for their Yorkshire puddings, and I love their Yorkshire puddings. But it, again, it was dry, and it had been under the lamp too long. And I think that's the that's the difficulty with buffet style or you can eat breakfast is you have to catch it when it's fresh because if you don't and there wasn't a lot of people in there because I'd got in there early and if it's been under the lamp a long time it dries up uh, and it was very hard um, and inedible I'd have needed some gravy on that actually to uh, soften it up a little bit so Yorkshire pudding I was disappointed with to say that it was Toby Carvery um, you got lower pack butter, you got that blooming toast machine. Whoever invented that toast machine where you put your toast in and everyone's waiting around for the toast and then they go, is that my toast? Uh, I think you'll find that's my toast. It's got my fingerprint in it. Um, I, then toasters drive me nuts. Just give us a normal toaster for goodness sake. Um, all in all, what do I think of it? Well, price wise, eh. I mean, it's all you can eat, but it's all you can eat dried up stuff, isn't it? So I'm trying to find the, yeah. I told you the price earlier, it's 5 99 anyway for the breakfast. And then you pay for your drinks. Um, you pay for your drinks on top of that. So they make on the drinks, obviously. It's PG, it wasn't Yorkshire. Um, and it's now starting to rain. Toby Carvery, what do I think of their breakfast? It's a bit... It, <laughs> I think I must have caught, well that's twice I've been now and I've not been overly impressed with it to be honest. I'm going to give it for 5 .99. I think you can get better. I'm going to go, it's a difficult one this really. As I say, I mean that egg, come on. That egg was a Haribo egg wasn't it? I couldn't eat it. Uh, it was like rubber, literally like a Haribo egg that you get out of one of them bags. I'm going to go all in all with a Oh, give me your score in the comment section down below. I'm going to go with a f five. Five, with a five. There we go. Anyway, that's Toby Carvery breakfast. I tried it again. Lots of people ask me. I'm not impressed with it, to be honest. I don't mind their Sunday roasts. I would stick to the Sunday roast if I was them. Uh, I'm getting absolutely wet through now. Met Office, don't know where you get your information from. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and click that little bell for notifications when I upload new videos and uh, give it a like as well. I've got to get out of it, it's raining. I can't get over that egg. It was like one of them, I'm thinking it was like one of them rubber eggs that you get from the joke shop. It was like a joke egg, wasn't it? A rubber, what have you seen them? I mean, that was, I reckon that was one of the worst, one of the funniest, worst eggs I've had. I think it was, I mean, good grief. That was, actually, no, I think the worst one was at Bill's in Leeds uh, that I did there, but that was closing on the worst egg that I've had, really, isn't it? It's like a, a joke, rubbery egg. Good grief. <laughs> The things I do for this channel. I mean, I couldn't even tackle that, honestly. I couldn't eat that, that'd have been ill.